Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today part 1C of Lightworker Homework 4. Activate your central vertical power current, your Kundalini by Alice B. Claggett. Part 1C has to do with the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, the personal chakras within the human body, including the torso and the head, their related subtle bodies, and the astral bridge. The next cutout is the personal chakras, and, and many of you will know quite a bit about this from your prior yogic studies and so forth. Um, and it, it includes a few new chakras that most people agree uh, were activated during the shift. So you can see the human body here. And the personal chakras um, showing over here the two minds, the subconscious mind at the bottom of the torso, what is known as the lower triangle, and the conscious mind. I've included all the other chakras in the personal uh, chakra arena uh, from four to seven and whatever is come on board as new. And the only bridge I have here is the astral bridge which is represented by the heart chakra. And here we have traditional colors for the most of the chakras here in an array um, going from red up to violet top. Um, I, most of you will be familiar with these chakras so I'll just read them to you. At the base of the torso is personal chakra one, often termed the basal chakra or the root chakra. The subtle body with which it is associated I feel to be the etheric body, otherwise known as the etheric double or etheric net. There's a great deal of controversy about these terms and I've done the best I could to collate the whole thing. Uh, personal chakra two, in the area of the sex organs near the base of the body, is sometimes known as the sacral chakra or the sexual chakra. That is associated, I feel, with the emotional body. That's the subtle body that's sometimes confused with the astral body and which I've separated out as the emotional body. The third chakra, personal chakra three, otherwise known as the navel point, is associated, I feel, with subtle body called the vital body, sometimes called the pranic body. Then we have the astral bridge, which includes the heart chakras, low, mid, and high heart, and also there's a hridaya chakra deep inside. Um, so there are four. There are also four chambers of the heart. And I colored those in kind of a color spectrum moving up from um, green to light blue. The low heart uh, is light green. The personal chakra four, otherwise known as the heart chakra, the middle heart, is usually depicted as emerald green, sometimes pink. And the high heart at the thymus gland, I depicted as, as light blue, and I did not include the Hridaya chakra because it's hidden and I can't seem to get it in there. Um, above that we have personal chakra five at the level of the throat. Uh, the subtle body I associated that with is the etheric template. Then there is personal chakra six, otherwise known as the third eye point, uh, associated with the pineal gland. And this subtle body I assigned to that was the celestial body, or the cosmic mind. There are some ear centers. Now, people have only, most people have only just begun to know about them. Uh, apparently, the right ear and the left ear, there are ear centers, and 
they're considered to be included in personal chakra seven as a portion of that. Uh, what form that takes, I don't know. But on faith, I'm taking it that there are ear centers and that they are of importance and that they have a function in our ascension gifts, which are just now unfolding. Uh, personal chakra seven, the crown chakra, I assign to subtle body called the causal body, uh, sometimes called the Catheric template or the buddhic or Christ consciousness. And that's very important to know because all light workers need to master the crown chakra in order to transmit to earth buddhic or Christ consciousness. It makes sense to me that each of the chakras should be associated with one form of energy in the energy body of a person. I feel that to be uh, a neat definition of, of the uh, energy mechanisms of the human form. I feel that the human form, including the, the physical body and the subtle energy bodies, is, is like a Swiss watch in its workings, uh, that it's very simple and symmetrical, and that when we find the truth of, of these energy fields, it will, be, it will be like everything falling into place. It will be so, so transparent, so obvious, so symmetrical, so clear. You know, how it, how it works has been designed by minds much higher than our own. Um, and so the fact that we have four minds associated, I feel, with varying numbers of chakras, and that those chakras, I feel, are associated either with bridges or with subtle bodies, certain types of energy that, that are important to our ascension skills and our understanding of our higher selves, I, of our higher functions in the world, I feel to be quite clear, you know, in the process of, of working through this, I saw diversity and confusion and actually argument and just a lot of people coming upon some of the truth but not all of it. But when all the pieces fell together in the sketch, I understood the, the elegant simplicity of the work that we are, you know, and I feel certain that as, as the ascension process proceeds, people will begin to understand this elegance and this simplicity more and more and to refine this idea what I'm showing you today is only just the very beginning, and, and what you will see in, in the years to come will, will absolutely astound you, I feel. All right, so one more look at these personal chakras, nicely colored, and the cutout will be featured in the pictures at the end of the video so that you can see it a little more clearly. So that's it for now. These are tools for light workers for the coming times. God bless you all, keep you safe, and be with you through all your days.